A tense day on Capitol Hill. In fact, the TV cameras have been turned off, so are state legislators now uh, taking to social media, posting selfies and, and live videos. They are staging a sit-in to force GOP leaders to allow a gun control vote to happen. Meantime, the Senate still trying to pass any kind of legislation. They've had four failed tries already this week. In fact, Jason Valentine has a look at all the angles of the Orlando massacre gun debate. In the fallout from the Orlando massacre, lawmakers on both sides of the aisles agree something has to be done to keep guns out of the hands of criminals. The question is what and can they get anything passed? Support for tougher gun control is the highest since Newtown. In the Orlando attack aftermath, a new CNN ORC poll shows 90% support for expanded background checks. But four measures have already failed in the Senate. Now Arizona Senator Jeff Flake supports another new bill that would keep people on the federal no-fly list from buying a gun. It's called No Fly, No Buy. It would also notify the FBI if someone on the much broader terror watch list tries to buy a gun, but not necessarily prohibit the sale as many Democrats have hoped. Then when this individual in Florida went to buy a weapon, the FBI would have been notified and they could have followed up. But a lot of gun advocates don't trust the ultra secret of terrorism and no fly lists. What's to stop them from putting 30% of my customers who are not uh, foreign terrorists? They just, somebody in a, at a desk doesn't like them and they get on a list and they don't even know it. Like a vast majority of Americans, gun shop owner Jeff Surdy does support gun prohibitions for people with mental health issues. Meantime, House Democrats, including Arizona Representative Ruben Gallego, have staged a sit in to try and force GOP leaders to allow a gun control vote. The response from um, Speaker Ryan has been nothing, uh, just ignoring the fact that more and more people are, are dying in mass shootings. The Senate is likely to vote on the legislation supported by Senator Flake tomorrow. I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15.